British Columbia, Canada. A harsh and forbidding landscape with majestic peaks, raging rivers, killer wildlife and lethal vegetation. This area is foreign terrain to Man Tracker. This cowboy usually works with the Alberta search and rescue teams. Today, his prey aren't lost in the woods. They're on the run from him. Man Tracker enlists the help of a local guide to give him the lay of the land. Mark Fletcher has extensive knowledge of this mountain terrain and is known as a horse whisperer. One of the main things we do with horses here is rehabilitation work. You know, we work with the insane and the, the unsound and the lame and horses that are unwanted. We try to bring them back to being good using horses for people. He's going to be a huge help to me in this country. He's a smoke jumper, he's outfitted, he's guided, he's done pack trips. He knows this country really, really well. I think it's going to be two days of hell for the prey. It's steep country, rivers are running fast, with the bushes thick. I think there's probably a lot of things that would kind of rattle their chains a little bit. Will the prey be rattled? From opposite sides of the country, Simone Crook and Mike Sage are complete strangers and polar opposites. Mike is an aspiring filmmaker and a real city boy. I don't have a whole lot of outdoors experience, to be honest, but I've been through several big, you know, forests in Canada, as well as Peru's uh, Machu Picchu, the Inca Trail, which is, you know, a pretty hardcore four-day hike, you know, through the mountains, so I, I, can, I can handle it. Simone is from British Columbia. She's at home with the outdoors and a tree planter by trade. I can plant a lot of trees and make a lot of money pretty much every single day with any train and all weather conditions. And I like being outside all day. I don't like being stuck inside working in an office. I bring to the team my mapping and orientation skills. And if you give me a compass and a map, I can get us anywhere. I think the main challenge that, that my partner and I are going to have is the bugs. The bugs here are horrible at the best of times. This country is all new to Man Tracker. I've lived here my entire life. There's no way that he's going to come in here and show me up in my backyard. I did just meet Simone yesterday night, and uh, I must say my first impression was really strong. She she knocked on my door and pretty much was like, "Hey, uh, you know what the f was, was supposed to be going on? Do you want a beer, kind of thing?" And she's got a big background in GIC, GAC, you know, U UPS, GPS stuff. So I know that she's going to be able to read a map, which is something I can't do. If push comes to shove, I'm going to do everything I can to catch the girl because um, he doesn't know the country. He doesn't know what he's up against. We're going to find him hiding in the bush, waiting for somebody to come get him. Cornered, uncle, let's kick some man tracker ass. There it is. Let's go. Let's go. All right. The chase begins with a flare. From this point, the prey have 36 hours to reach a finish line 39 kilometers away. They have their map, compass, and a two kilometer head start. Where's that goddamn trail? I know. At the very beginning, you know, the, sh the flare gun goes off, so your adrenaline goes up and you start to run, and then suddenly you realize, wait a minute, I'm gonna burn out in like five minutes if I unleash this all right at the beginning. So that's when your brain kicks in, and you're like, wait a minute, this is more of a mind game, not just a big giant hike. Oh, that's good. We've got a road up here. From two kilometers away, Man Tracker's first job is to locate the flare site. Without map or compass, he has no idea where the prey are headed. Only footprints will give him a sense of their direction. You got a few boot prints here. Well, there's a heck of a good disturbance there. We've got a bit of a ridge right here. Could be another step. But if we go back to this big one, everything's kind of pushed up that way. It tells me they probably went that way. We'll take a wander down the road this way, see if we can pick up a boot print. Come on, pony, let's go this way. Man Tracker has misread the signs and follows the wrong direction, allowing the prey to put some serious distance between them. That's not even on our map. Uh, I just don't want to take it and then get lost. I don't want to have to compassify already. Compassify. <laughs> yeah, let's take that. But, aha. There we go. If I put this one over here, do you think he's going to be like, they must have went that way. OK, ready? Just don't break anything when we go up here. 
Don't step on this bark set. Well, I don't see nothing here that looks definitely human. There is some, some disturbance, but not enough. Let's go the other way. All right, roger that. When we discovered where the flare site was, we wasted a bunch of time not knowing exactly which way they went. We had to check out both ways. And the way it turned out, we went the wrong way first. And you can go by toe kicks and stuff like that, but you need a continuation of tracks to keep going. Well, we got a little bit of a, a mark there. It's hard to tell the front from the back, but right there is the heel mark. And you can see kind of round circles. This is tough tracking. You're, you watch and you pay attention and really concentrate, and you get one little smudge in the dirt there every 50, 80 yards. All right. Looks like it's gonna get a little gnarlier up here. What? Devil's Club. So we don't want to walk through that end? No. Why are you walking through it? Well, it's not gonna kill you. It's just gonna be annoying? Yeah, it just hurts. Oh, well, in that case. <laughs> Don't fall in. <laughs> oh. Can I talk to it? Every single part of it hurts. Now I think you're full of Ow! <laughs> oh, God. Even the leaves hurt. Ow! You boss. You have to blend in with everything else. Like, goddamn. Good? <laughs> yep. Take that, man, Stacker. You want to go that way, Mark? Just go up there 50, 60 yards, see if you can find a track. You got it. We've got little disturbances here. I'm going to check this out. Just because this piece of grass here is all flattened down, so somebody or something has stepped right there. Didn't see a thing up there. OK. I've got a little bit of stuff here. They've been stomping on some leaves or something has. We'll keep going. we got to check all these stupid little side trails. Looks like a bunch of disturbed dirt there. They probably ran off the road here. I doubt they've gone far. Why don't you take a wander up there, Mark? I'll stay on the main trail. We'll meet up back down there. It's probably just a silly game. A little candy wrapper here. It's fairly fresh. It's still sticky. Mark's knowledge of these logging roads is invaluable, but he's missed the prey's trail up the hill, and Man Tracker has fallen for their sweet wrapper diversion. Just a little diversion tactic. I think they've come right back down on this road here. The prey have chosen to avoid the road and take on the steep slope, but their tactics might have backfired. OK, looks like we've reached a dead end. I don't know. I think it's supposed to be, well, I'm not. OK, know. well, let's see. Well, where are you pointing at? Where do you think we are? Do you think we're here or here? I think we're here. That, is that possibly that? I just don't think it is. Despite Simone's mapping and orienteering skills, the prey are lost. And they could be walking right into the path of Man Tracker. Is the ridge this way or this way or what? Which, which way is east? That's, no, wait, that's south, that's north? Never eat shredded wheat, right? Well, what do you think? I think that we might have gone the wrong way. I kind of don't feel good about this. I, don't, I just don't know. Uh, yeah. What? It's like a road thing. A little bit of a road? Hours into the chase, and the prey are lost and tired. 
They've been bushwhacking, slogging up and down major inclines, and by sheer luck, Man Tracker is within 100 meters of them. We've been coming up this trail for about the last two hours. It's been a long grade, and there is a dick squat for tracks. We saw something up there. I'm not sure if it's them or an animal or what. If it's them, I sure as hell don't want them in this. We were in the bush forever. How could he have just randomly met us? And, and I was like, I can't get caught in the first three hours of this chase. How ridiculously embarrassing would that be? I just had to regroup there in the forest, just decided, but where are we going to go? What are we going to do? We are being hunted, and it is real. And if we want to play this game properly, then we're going to actually have to start playing it. <laughs> nice panties. Thank you. Time to, you know, remove all this red and put on some black, dark stuff and be more ninja stuff style. There's diddly squat here for tracks. I think we've probably got ahead of them somehow. I don't know, maybe they went into the bush for a pee or something, I don't know. Dude, I can see the road. What? I can see the road. So we'll hang out here, and if they go up that road, Great. If they come up this one, we're going to scare the tar out of them. There they go. Yeah, go. Down through the trees. Yeah. Let them get up there a ways and way out after them. In this country here, you've got to be very, very patient. If we did jump them too early, they just bail down into the bush. They could take three steps left, and, and they'd just disappear. They'd be gone. You got to be slow and methodical and, you know, CYA. Cover your ass. Simone and Mike are unaware as to how close Man Tracker is. They're just relieved to be out of the bush and making good time. Water. Sweet. If you don't have enough water, then you're going to be dehydrated fairly quickly. If we hadn't had those water sources, I think that we would have been in a bad place really quickly. Right here, we got the same little round circles in the shoe print that we had at the very, very start. That's good. Man, it's cooking out here. Despite having a visual sighting of the prey, concrete signs are vital for Man Tracker to reconfirm the prey are still on the trail. The horses can actually go through this? Oh, yeah. yeah. Man, it's like South America around here. Stuff. Wow. Come here. Horse doesn't even want to walk through this crap. Are we going to that road? They're looking right at us and they haven't seen us yet. Let's go get them. Let's go. Come on, boy. Horse, horse, run, run, run. Go. Let's get them. I ain't going through that stuff. The prey reach safety in the clearing, but the ground is anything but clear. Fallen logs lurk beneath, and it's a death trap for the horses. Is it warming up for you? Plan on catching it sometime? Barely cocky, aren't they? Christ, they can't even walk through there. How are we supposed to get there? Well, we'll wait here and see which way they're going. This is like living in Saskatchewan. We're going to watch them run away for three days. Pray. There they are. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> and, and, you know, and the three sweetest words I had heard all day, let's get them. We didn't even get a chance to really decide what we were going to do, and we just dove straight into the clear cut. And that was our move, and that ended up being our move because we had no choice. The road curves around the slope to a track below the woods, and Man Tracker aims to cut them off at the pass. If we'd be stealth-like, we could probably hear them coming like a couple elephants. It was just bushwhacking after bushwhacking. And 
all these trees were out on us, and it, it just felt like it got worse and worse. You know, they block in the heat and stuff like that, but then eventually we'd enter these rotten forests and, and you, everywhere you'd step, it would break, and then you'd be stuck, and, and it was just really, it just kept on going more and more and more. Is there anything living in here? Some of the moss? Ah, oh, I thought that was a spider. And the more you're in there, it's, it, it's like you start to become a little crazy. <laughs> Dude. Mark knew of a, a little bit of a logging site where people had, you know, had a little sawmill set up. And he figured out that the direction they're going, they're gonna come very close to that. I didn't see nothing for tracks coming out. No, they, they're not out of the woods, that's for sure. So I think they're probably in that thing. And I think we've just rode right past them or around them. They should be closer to the road by now. something back there in the trees. We could wait right by that building. Anywhere over there, we got a little look at this. Yeah. Let them come out here. Finally, a goddamn road. It's like civilization, almost. Simone and Mike have been slogging through dense bush on punishing slopes, only to find themselves walking directly into a trap. It's late afternoon, and Man Tracker is ready to end their misery. So what's the rules of engagement? Basically, we want to uh, put our horse about 10 feet behind them, chase them, and when they give up, they give up. We'll try to get the girl. At all costs, try to get her. He should be a fairly easy capture tomorrow. Let's go this way. The good thing is we're downwind. They're right there, about 50 yards or less away from us right now. Oh, they're still coming. Find him? This is just too full of jackpots and logs. I just couldn't go further. So we just had another run-in with the man tracker. Yeah. We uh, we fun. we thought he wouldn't go into trees and and he just came in after us. Yeah. Uh, we were right near the mining camp and we're he, so close to the bridge right we're now. We're so close and now because we're gonna go there. So and the bridge is gonna be open. So if we, the only way we're gonna be able to cross this bridge is to go through the water and then he's gonna be or waiting for us on the other the side. We were right here in the open and I couldn't see them and I lost my patience. I'm getting tired and cranky. Well, let's go around and keep the in there. By showing us the direction of travel in that bush, we knew where they were going, and it just proved to us that they had to get across the Susquehanna River. The bridge is the only way to cross this river, and if Man Tracker can get there first, he will have got himself a day one capture. Oh, come on, tree. I know this is karma. Not much further. 
Watch out, there's Dell's pub. We can hear him up in there. Let's go down. But who will crack first? And how much time will the prey waste in this waiting game? could hunker down and stay in there all frickin' night. We'll get them in the morning if the bugs haven't ate them. Man Tracker had them pinned in the bush, but had to retract from his position, and it's cost him the catch. patients like that. It's not very good. We came awful close to getting them two or three times today. I think tomorrow the terrain will be more to our advantage. Good. It's about time we got the advantage. I do not do well with the woods at night. It's this little phobia called nyctohylophobia. It's fear of the woods at night, and I have it. It's really hard to describe, but I just get really uneasy because I, any sound I hear, I think it's a bear. Simone! What should I be? Simone! Simone! The trackers had to stand down from their position, but that doesn't mean the prey are safe. Mike's fear of the woods at night has him on edge. Simone! Simone, is that you? What were you doing? Like, why? Didn't you let me know? You're sleeping. I didn't want to wake you up. I got freaked out. Oh, I'm sorry. When I came back, Mike wasn't at hysterics, but he was very close to getting there. And I think that he was completely out of his element. I think that if he hadn't been with somebody else at that time, he definitely would have called it quits. Man Tracker knows where he's heading this morning. The trackers are hightailing it down the old mountain trail. Out there in second. After a sleepless night, the prey are on edge. What's that? Fire pit. Oh my god. I hope that's not his. Whoa, 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 what's that? Wait. 
I'm not sure if it was because of my lack of sleep or, or if it was because, you know, at this point you know from the previous encounters with the man tracker that he really wants to destroy you, that I was just on edge for the next good half of the day. I was walking around with a stick, I was ready for him to jump out of anywhere, and if he would, I would throw the stick at him or but more realistically just drop it and flee like a little girl but but you know what i mean i <laughs> for the next few hours i was terrified out of my mind there yeah, we got some tracks very very fresh track right here very fresh you get a little bit of a heel print there with that one. Oh, that's good at least we're on the right trail oh buddy let's go catch him It's gonna be really tough for the horse to go down this yeah. path, eh? It's tough for me to. We got some grass busted over right here. Goes down through here. There is a bit of a trail. But we'll take a take a check down there. Somebody has stepped right in this area here. We've got a whole bunch of dirt on top of that leaf. That dirt shouldn't be there. It's very, very fresh. Gives us a timeline that we're probably less than half an hour behind them. Somebody has stepped right here, and they've pushed all these leaves up. It's not normal. And then there's another step there. The reason I know that's probably human is right here, there's two moose tracks. You can see the very definite pointy toes of a moose right from there back to here they step down, where a human tends to drag their feet and cause a lot of disturbance. A moose, he doesn't care where he goes, and he steps right down. He doesn't kind of drag his toes like a human. I was really impressed by Man Tracker's analysis. Now, th there was one point there where there was a whole menagerie of this stuff right in front of us, and it was like a five-minute learning session of exactly you know, how to track people, because it was all there, uh, but it was all very subtle. I was shown at least five or six details right there that I just didn't, I didn't even know what to look for. Uh, just fantastic. Uh, the need for speed has sent the prey onto open trails. Sweet. Yes. Oh, Perfect. High five. Simone and Mike decide to set up roadblocks to obstruct Man Tracker and his horses. Going across there, buddy. <laughs> that log used to be up there. It's down here now, those bone heads. Come on, buddy, step over. Out of point. I guess that boy missed his downtown gym in Toronto. This is the second one. I, I hope it took them longer to put it there than it's taken us to get over it. The prey's stall tactics were futile, and now the trackers are closing in. We just caught up to these guys. They're about maybe 50 yards in front of us just opened up into a fairly decent trail. Get through there, come on. 
Man Tracker tries to run down the prey in the woods, but so far he's been unable to end the chase. With less than five hours to go, it's still anyone's game. I think they've gone over the edge of a cliff. <sighs> oh my god. I almost lost my shoe. I lost my stick, scratched my face. Oh. oh. Now I need a timeout. Oh my god. We're staying. Son of a. Wish I'd known this cliff was this close. How can you know, though? Frick, this country disappears under you, behind you. He's not coming down here. Yeah, I can see the bush moving. They're not going to have a good time of that. I've called things steeper than a cow's face, and this is steeper than a cow's face. Holy crap. I don't think I could walk down there. Mantraga doesn't know the half of it. Below the trees, the prey have landed on sheer rock face. Let's go around them. They'd be very super careful. They'll have to inch their way down to the forest and relative safety. They're off course in tough terrain and still five kilometers from the finish. Oh, my God. Where we push them off of that cliff, they stay next to the creek. Are they going to come out up here? Yeah, if they stay on that river, they're going to come out at that uh, the bridge down here where it crosses the Susquehanna. They're probably not having much of a picnic down there. Oh, that was scary. Yeah. I'm glad that happened now because I was starting to get tired. We did need that little boost of adrenaline, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, I think so. We've got to be getting to a bridge. So we have a plan to fill up water bottles. And just in case uh, he gets to us, we can da drop everything. We'll have eaten our last meal. And if we have to make a mad dash, all we'll need is water. So we should be fine. You get to a point where you almost want to surrender. But you know you've got to get through it. Because you've got to climb back up. You've got to get back to that trail. Because if you want any chance of winning, you've got to be on the trail. Goddamn branches. What happens if they don't follow the river and they come up the hillside and come in behind us on that road here? We've got to see whether they cross the bridge or come up here. So I think we're going to have to go down, find a spot somewhere where we can see that, and wait. We didn't know where they were going to come out. If they went straight down to the creek and followed along to the bridge, we had a good chance of seeing them. The road was there and the bridge, and we could watch the bridge. OK, we can see the bridge from here. Just barely, but that's good. Mantragger sets up his ambush, but the prey are nowhere near the bridge. They're struggling just to climb up from the river. Dude, there is no bridge. What? I can't, I still don't see a bridge. Do you think we should go back to the road? Maybe. I think that we should. I'm getting sick of bushwhacking. Oh. We pretty much wasted an hour down in this trap, death trap. Well, we've been sitting here for goddamn near an hour. Let's go back up the road. I don't know. We gotta do something. We can't just sit here all day. I think that's the trail up there. And if it is, we're going to drop off our bags. Without their heavy packs, the prey prepare to make a final dash for the finish on the open road. We knew that was a bad move. We were out in the open. We knew that Mad Tracker was ahead of us. We saw his tracks on the roads. So we knew that he was ahead of us somewhere. We just didn't know exactly where. This would be an ideal spot. If they're coming down the hill, we got an open field right here. If you see them near this opening, jump out. Don't say a word, just get on the road. Yeah. If they spook, they're gonna come right to me. It's perfect. I just hope they don't see us. We gotta be careful though, we don't have anywhere to run.
they're captured. The chase is over for Simone, but Mike won't give up. With less than three hours and still almost five kilometers to cover, he's on his own. This little brat's got to be in here somewhere. I'm coming right through there. Where are you? I think I just lost Simone. The man Tarkas ca caught us while we were going across the field. I have no idea where I am right now. I'm in some field surrounded by barbed wire. As you can see, we should be safe on this side. I don't want to be caught yet. I can't be caught yet. Is there a gate in this fence? There sure is, just down here, 200 feet. I'll go out this way and through the gate. You stay on this side of the fence. Give a holler if you see him. I think the man tracker thinks I've gone south, west maybe, northwest, I don't know. I know the path of the barn was southwest, and that's where I'm trying to go. I don't know if it was on me, because I abandoned all my that I don't get lost, and I don't even have player on me, so if I do get lost, I'm kind of the luck, so, yeah. This is where I feel like I became the action hero, the, 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 the video game stealth agent. I'd peer around edges, and I'd, you know, I'd scuttle to another bush, and I'd crawl through the fields. It was all action hero to the Maximus, and I was basically, you know, on my way to win this victory. <laughs> Well, I lost him over there. Mark's gone down that fence. I don't know where that fence comes back out. Hopefully over here. Bit of a barn or a house or building of some kind over there. I guess he could have got that far by now. Well, goddamn. What do you do now, Mr. Mantracker? I went down the whole fence line, right up into that hill to his corner post. Well, I don't know where that little is gone. If he kept going that way, the direction I lost him, through this gate and across that field, he's going to hit the river, right? That's right. What's the river do over in here? There's a huge, huge bend in the river. It goes north. He can't go west along the river. If we take this trail, can we hit that bend in that river? Yes. The trackers haven't had much success with their ambushes on this chase. Now, they can only guess and play the odds. While Mike blindly forges ahead in the direction he thinks is the finish line. All these trails are coming right to here. Yep. He wants, he's probably gonna want to get on this trail. Yep. That's the one he, they were on. How be we just go up this trail 50 yards and sit right on the edge of it? Probably work, yeah. right back to the trail, and that's about where the horses went. So I might be crisscrossing directly into their path. I've got a little patch of sunshine. I can see up there where all those trails meet. Right. Perfect. I know that I've just reached the final trail that leads to my final destination, which is the creek. I know that that's west. Got the sun setting there, north, so I've got to go northwest. Sunshine! Ah! Ah! 
here. Come on, buddy, get him. Get him out of there. Had enough? Go, 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 go. You've just been captured, buddy. <sighs> I thought I was gonna make it. That was one of the best ambushes we've ever set. And it worked perfect. You got within like 10 feet of us. Thanks, buddy. Pleasure, man, tracker. <laughs> I got captured. <laughs> You know, after a few hours, like five or six hours of not seeing the man tracker, you get into this mode where, you know, I'm going to make it out alive. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he jumps in at you. And it's, it's terrifying. His initial reaction was blood curdling. It was all I could do to keep from busting my gut laughing. But I did have to giggle because it shocked the out of me. The prey, their performance throughout the whole chase was outstanding. With Mike, classic case of, you know, never judging a book by its cover. I don't have the navigation training. I don't have the stealth training. I'm not a military man. I'm not a firefighter. So I'm not the guy that's expected to win. And then suddenly, I feel like I had that chance. I really did. It's really unnerving having a, a large animal with a cowboy come at you at full speed, but at the same time, it's kind of a turn-on. 